Toy Story 2 is one of Pixar's greatest sequels. It introduced us to good characters, and it had great moments, especially the climatic plane escape scene. There was even a video game of the movie released. I loved playing it when I was little, and I still do. Although I had happy times with both the movie and the game, I don't think I would want to associate with them anymore. I was outside with a metal detector, looking for something to dig out. I examined every ground level, until there was a beep. I grabbed a shovel, and I dug out a box. I unboxed it, and it was both a Toy Story 2 poster, and a PC port of the Toy Story 2 game. I was quite surprised, but I wasn't too sure about playing it yet, because I don't really play games much nowadays. When my parents got home, I told them about the box of stuff and they were okay with it. The day after, I thought I would play the game on a rainy night since my parents and older sister were out. I played the first two levels, plus the first boss that night, and I did the same with the other four zones of the game in the next four days. The day after I beat the PC port, I decided to play some more of the game. However, as soon as I opened up the game, there was a Woody's voice clip saying, as heard in the movie or movies after I pressed the enter button to start the game at the title screen. As I went to the level select menu, it didn't show the levels. Instead, it showed a different screen that said, congratulations. You have unlocked a bonus level, showing a still of Woody from the scene where he checked out his fixed arm after the cleaner had mended it in a green border. I got confused, but as always, I shrugged it off. It took me to that bonus level. It was labeled as Woody's Workshop, which was somehow a hoax of the game. It was placed near the final level, Prospector Showdown. I pressed a button to select the level, and the level's title card consisted of Woody in front of a workshop that had a similar build of the room of Woody's roundup memorabilia from Al's penthouse and the garage from Andy's house. Enough of that, I got excited to play this level. The level started, and I was in a room full of Woody's roundup memorabilia, similar to Al's penthouse. As I got out of the room, instead of being in the hallway of Al's penthouse, I ended up at a garage-like area. I went to explore the workshop. I saw a couple easter eggs such as the Luxo ball and the Luxo lamp. After two to three minutes of running around, I heard a very familiar voice. Howdy Buzz, come here for a second. It sounded much like, Woody. I went to follow Woody's voice. It looked like we found another level that Woody appeared in this game. Woody's voice came from upstairs. I already began to like this level. I then found Woody in a room full of paints, tools, etc., similar to a room from another level, construction yard. He was sitting on a table, and he was waving both of his arms, looking normal. I even made contact with him and he said, Hello Buzz, you found me. I am so happy, but you weren't there for me. You neglected me. I am sorry Buzz, but this has to be done. I was baffled at what Woody said. Was he angry that he only appeared in one level? As soon as I finished talking to Woody, all of the robot toy enemies appeared from behind Woody. And they began to chase Buzz, with the same behavior from one of the boss levels, Toy Barn Encounter. I ran from that, but had to fight back. I vanquished all five of them, but Woody came out of the room. And, sweet Jesus, his eyes were hollow black, and he had blood for tears leaking out of his eyes, despite the fact toys don't shed tears, bleed or sweat. I made contact with him again, and he said something else. You may have defeated my new allies, Buzz, but you can't take down my new allies I have made. At that moment, Jesse and Zerg appeared next to him. Like Woody, Jesse also had hollow black eyes and red pupils, and was crying blood, even though Zerg looked normal. I started to get very anxious, I pinched myself thinking this is a dream, but unfortunately, it wasn't. It was time for Buzz to fight Woody and his gang. The boss battle's theme is a mixture of Zerg and the Prospector's boss themes. Every time I tried to perform the spin attack on Zerg, he would just evade it quickly. However, I was lucky enough to shoot my laser at Woody and Jesse. I defeated Jesse by giving her about 13 to 16 shots of my laser, and Zerg was cornered so I can use my spin attack on him. Zerg was defeated, and I was left with Woody. I both shot Woody with the laser and used the spin attack on him, but when he reached his last health point, he didn't die. 
Instead, Zerg and Jesse then came back to life and they, along with Woody, flew into Buzz, making contact with him until he died. I was stunned. What just happened? I thought to myself. After five seconds, it showed the game over screen. However, it was different compared to the one from the final game, the background was green instead of purple, and Buzz was replaced by Woody, Zerg and Jesse. Even the background music was the original game over soundtrack, but it was slowed down and it had a haunting feel to reply to it. After the soundtrack played, there was a deep voice that said, Give well-known characters more love and focus. If not, then sorry, but you'll have to receive your one and only comeuppance. I had lots of chills down my spine when I heard that. Did somebody just edit this game? Instead of taking me back to the menu, the game closed. I went to open the game again. However, it immediately took me to the start screen. It showed all of the characters from the game, minus the enemies and other characters that never appeared in the final film. They were in a red background, and the Toy Story 2 logo was in flames. Also, the music was Woody's roundup, slowed down and reversed. Buzz then disappeared from the cast after 8 seconds. At the same time, Al's laugh from the movie played, with an echo effect. That sent chills down my spine it felt like someone was in my house. I had enough of seeing all of this crap. I had to eject the game disc from my computer, threw it on the roof and restarted my computer in case of any errors. After I did all of that, I went out for a drink to recollect my thoughts. I even went to look around the house if Yell was actually here. Luckily, he wasn't. That laugh was only from the game, and not actually happening here. My parents were home, and I told them all about the game being cursed, but they didn't believe me. It wasn't well for me that day. From now on, I am going to stick with not playing any more video games. Who could have done such a thing? Who is behind editing this game? And what more am I going to regret playing this cursed copy?